Hey, what's up? So, I'm going to set up an open source React application on my local and then implement Google Analytics on this project. So this way uh, I can show you how to set up Google Analytics on any React project. So basically, this is the project I'm going to use. It's called e-commerce React. I randomly found this, this project and it uses React, Redux and Redux Saga and Firebase and SAS for styling. In order to set up Google Analytics, I'm going to use this package called React GA. So I used this while back, so I think it's still the same and uh, maybe it's updated. And uh, yeah, let's first thing I'm going to fork this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clone this project on my local now, open up the terminal and I'm going to create a directory here and I'm going to cd into this folder and then git clone and I want to clo clone this project inside this directory so I'm gonna put a space dot then in the meantime I'm coming back to this repo and gonna follow these steps so to run locally I need to obviously npm install and then create environment file dot env dot prod or for us it will be env dot dev and then simply run this script npm run dev server let's go back yeah you have all the files here so what I'm gonna do is npm I, npm I have to install npm It'll take a minute so in the meantime I'm going to create the Firebase account so basically you can go firebase.google.com and web setup and you need to sign in first click on go to console and here on the welcome screen you can create a new project so I'm gonna name this project commerce react e-commerce and you have to select analytics account <clears throat> so basically if you want to enable google analytics on a firebase project you already should have an analytics account just basically you can go to analytics.google.com and just register on the on the website i'm going to create the project then let's go back here okay here everything looks good it's npm installed so what is next i have to do is create the file dot env dot dev so in the root create file dot env dot dev and i'm gonna open this in visual studio so here i have the file that i created I also want to go through the project so project is structure it's basic react project is structure it has the source folder and then have component and constants and some decorators firebase folder for fire page setup and uh, helper folder and hooks and some other stuff for, for redux actions and stuff and then you have a styles folder i think you can have uh, containers or pages you this goes differently so yeah this is how the project looks like and i'm going to bring all these sample configurations into firebase now go back to my firebase console it is created the project and yeah here it is and then uh, if i click on this here I can register oh wait no I think I already created so you can go to the project settings 
and then click ah okay there are no apps so i need to create an app so react e-commerce react e without firebase hosting here we have all the configurations so we have app key auth domain project id a db url so you can see the db url the reason is you need to create a real-time database or a not real-time cloud file store you have to enable this create database start on test mode i'm going to can select the location and wait for this to create yay so it created i'm going back to the project settings and right now so let me try to recreate it creating my app e-commerce react oh here we have database url too now so basically i'm gonna copy one by one to our environment variable oh, then i need the out domain yes that's it so that's done and then we can simply run npm run dev server so if I go back here let's wait and I'm going to open up the spot yeah we have really nice home page if i go to shop don't have any items so what is next is signing up having some hard time to find a good password sign up oops configuration not found so the issue is authentication is because this is using firebase authentication so i need to enable authentication then i will enable email password and then i'll try again yeah my account is created so if i go back to authentications if i refresh here yeah i have my domain my, my account so if i go to my account i can see my account details wish list and order but still we don't have projects so what you have to do is as as we saw here you go to file store collection and change user to admin so I'm going to the cloud file store database and you can see the users. I'm going to change the role to admin. Let me refresh. So right now I'm on the admin panel. I'm going to add a product. Uh, I 
saved twice so I just gonna delete one <laughs> deleted everything okay there's tiny bug so let me try again It's two twice. I don't know. It's fine. I'm gonna keep it here and then go back. I'm gonna sign out and go into homepage. And we have one product with the size. Everything is working as the demo. So, what I'm gonna do is now we have the homepage and we have the shop page and the product slug. And we are going to set up GA and test this if it works for each page so first thing first you need to log into google analytics so basically anal oh, analytics.google.com and <laughs> basically once you sign up you will see sign something like this you will end up in this home page and right now i'm using one project that i'm not using anymore if you need to get some information about your project ID, you can click on admin. And here you have the project ID, then or you can click on the tracking info and then you have the tracking data here. So, first thing first, I'm going to install React G a on this project going back to the terminal and in npm install react ga let's make sure everything is there yeah so now we have it the google analytics ga package and let's go to the code and see let's see what we can do so basically normally the app is starting here on app.js file basically i'm gonna import react ga, GA from react ga and basically what i have to do is i'm gonna get use effect gonna run the use if ins I, I'm gonna run this react initialize inside use effect let's see if it will work Ah, okay. We need to change a little bit this function. Yeah, so I need to replace this react.initialize. This I need to pass the tracking ID as the parameter. So as I show here is the tracking ID, you can go to the settings admin and then get the tracking information. The tracking ID so seems to be good going back to the home page and I'm going to refresh this it looks like we have an error Let me try to remove this. Okay, so issue is didn't I have to put return here? Yeah. So it seems like we have no errors. 
I go to analytics check real time there is nothing I'm going to the product and I'm gonna click a little bit more here this is coming from me no and I'm going to the shop and going back here and home page see if we still have anything okay we don't have anything here let's see if this is running like normally you have to pass the array or something here just empty array let's see if this is calling yeah it called once okay when i go to the pages it did not run so basically I'm going to the react GA package and much easier initialize and page view I'm gonna add this to here you can see one active user but if I go to the different places I don't think I have a real time real location I think this is not the place I should run this is app router so I can go to this app router component Gonna import React GA here and then run page views on a different place. So basically, I can run it on the app router. So basically, what you can do to send the page views, you can add something like this history to the history, history dot listen, and then you pass location and just pass the location to the page views let's see if this works Ah, okay, so I have to pass location dot path name. Yeah, so basically I'm going to pass this to the page views. So I'm going to refresh, it will initialize analytics. And then I'm gonna click on the product. Should so yeah, here is the product. I'm in the product, and I'm going to go to sign up. It's real time, but be slow. I'm on sign up now. I'm going to home. This will be slash. Yep, that's it. Yes, it is working and that is how you set up Google Analytics on React project. So I'm going to create a pull request with this project and you can grab it from this report on my profile. Yeah, feel free to let me know if you have any questions.